In this video, Planet Doug goes culture vulture as I take you to another highlight of Kuala Lumpur and one of my personal favorites, the National Art Gallery or Balai Seni Nagara. Why do I like it so much? Well, it's easy to reach by MRT. The interior architecture of the building is bright, spacious, modern, and fun. The exhibits are always new and engaging, and it's open to everyone free of charge. The day was a bit of a whirlwind of motion. It started with the LRT and MRT tunnels, which led to a labyrinth of escalators, and it ended with a four-story corkscrew ramp. I felt dizzy, but much more cultured afterwards. So sit back, relax, let me do all the work, and enjoy a day as a culture vulture in Malaysia. I think we're a little bit outside of rush hour. What time is it? Oh yeah, it's way past rush hour. I've lost all track of time. It's 20 after 10 in the morning and I'm heading out to meet up with uh, Jamie, a friend of mine here in KL, a world traveler. And uh, Jamie suggested that we visit the National Art Gallery here in KL. And I've been to the National Art Gallery a few times actually. I think I, I even shot a video, maybe two videos there in the past, I can't quite remember. But uh, he was interested in checking the place out and of course the good thing about an art gallery is every time you visit it's a new experience. New exhibitions, new things on display, new art. So that's where I'm headed. And uh, Jamie is getting there on his own, we're going to meet at the art gallery itself. He's probably walking the entire way, madman that he is. And I was even thinking about walking myself because I was looking at Google Maps and it would take like an hour to walk there. And, but I am gonna go by uh, LRT, MRT, but it's gonna take almost an hour to go by LRT and MRT as well. So you don't actually save much time by taking a public transit. But of course, you save a lot of uh, energy on your legs. And I want to uh, save the walking energy for the museum rather than being exhausted and hot and sweaty when I get there. So I checked out the National Art Gallery uh, website. And I don't think there's a big dramatic exhibit on right now. I'm not sure what's going on, but I know there's one exhibit called Nusa, which is a exhibition of their, from their permanent collection. And Nusa means homeland or motherland. And apparently this exhibition they pulled from their permanent collection is all about how people view their homeland within Southeast Asia. So perhaps not necessarily just Malaysia, but all the countries of Southeast Asia. So I think that's the main exhibit that I'll be seeing. So starting point, Masjid Jamek Station. I've been leaving here frequently to head towards uh, Pudu, but this time I'm taking a different line, the Kalana Jaya line, and then I'm going to Ampang Park, transferring at Ampang Park to the Putra Jaya line, a new MRT line and uh, that will take me to a station near the art gallery. Power of the touch and go.
The National Art Gallery, by the way, has a little bit of a history. It was established back in the 50s. I think there was a long period of a number of years in the 50s, like from 54 to 59, something like that, where they were talking about opening, establishing a National Art Gallery, getting the funding together, designing it, all that sort of thing. And then they built it, and it opened in the 50s, I think. But that was at a completely different location. And then over time, this one opened. I think this location opened in 1998. Don't quote me on that, but that's the number that's uh, in my head right now. I think uh, they constructed this new location and uh, it was officially opened in 1998. Man, check this out. I mean, it's impressive, the size and the scale. Let's get here in the, in the middle and get a nice uh, symmetrical view of that. Escalators on both sides. And it looks like they were planning for the future. This station clearly can handle a lot of people. And now we have to get back to the surface. Climb up from the depths. Wow. Look at that. No power in the verse can stop me exiting. There we go, look at that. Beautiful. So I think this is a Google Maps checking time. Figure out where to go. Oh, there's a neighborhood map over there. Love it, love it. This should give me an idea of where to go. Oh, look at that. They're even anticipating where you might want to go. Balai Seni Nagara. I believe Nagara means like national or country. Seni means art. And Balai is a gallery or hall. So this is the National Art Gallery. And we'll be walking by the Istana Budaya. And that's the like a national performing arts center, I believe. Jalan Kwantan, it looks similar, doesn't it? But I, I've been to those places before. And Titiwangsa, the lake and the park is nearby here. But apparently if I want to go to that, any of those places, exit B is what I want. I found it. You just have to train yourself to look for the Malay instead of the English. I was looking for National Art Gallery, but it has Balai Seni Nagara. So that's where I want to go, exit B. And uh, I'm not sure about the roads. I don't think you, you can't walk along this one. That's a major system. So I think I have to go through this small road to get there taking me past Istana Budaya. Seems simple enough. Of course, we are living on planet Doug at the moment. Anything could happen. I may be in the wrong uh, place entirely. Whoa. Yeah, when you go through one of these stations, you shouldn't underestimate how far you need to travel to get from, say, the train back to the real world long wide hallways so many levels and layers it always takes me by surprise you start thinking you need uh, inline skates or a scooter skateboard and they have a beautiful map I, I really admire the map that they've put together for this system once once you know what you're looking at this is very very cool so this yellow line by the way that's the one we're on right now there's putrajaya it's a huge line. It goes all the way to Putrajaya, which is far away, way outside of KL. And then it comes all the way into the city, all the way up here, and finally ends in Kwasa Damansar. And that is a major journey. Trust me. Yeah, I love MRT systems. Up, 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 up. Back in the real world, and there's one of, this is the uh, Performing Arts Center, National something or other Performing Arts Center right there. It's an older building, I remember. Astana Bud Bud Budaya, Budaya, Astana Budaya. And uh, I went in there to look around before. Maybe I even, I think I shot video in there, took some pictures. I got turned around. I walked into a dead end. I have to uh, backtrack here. 
And I kind of got turned around because I saw a big group of security guards ahead of me and it made it look like I couldn't go in this direction. We've got a gate here. I have no idea what I've done. I don't know how to get anywhere to see if this uh, leads to a dead end or not. Can I go around this way? No. <laughs> ah, I don't know how to get there. I'm completely stuck. I gotta go. I have no idea how to do this. What do you think? Who knows? Maybe there's another uh, gate up there. It'll be a shortcut instead of going all the way back to the MRT station. Yeah, so now I've walked all the way around to the front of the building and I, I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. But they've got me trapped like a, a mouse in a maze. Okay, it looks like I can get out here. All right, and then get around to there. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this sort of ties in with what I was saying at the very beginning of this journey, that I had the choice between walking here all the way or taking the MRT, LRT combo. And you think, oh, it'll be much faster to take the LRT, MRT, but even getting that route, you, it ends up taking as long or longer than had I just started walking and come straight here. But yeah, look at this uh, building. Classic architecture from that era. Amazing trees, I always love these. Look at the size of that one, it's huge. I send Jamie a message telling him I'm here. I just need to uh, navigate a little bit. And here's the uh, big sign for the place, Balai Seni Nagara. Looks like a nice shot for a uh, picture, you've got the sign and the Patronus Towers there on the right. At long last, here it is. The National Art Gallery. Built in 1998, I think, as I said. Looks like it could, uh, yeah, dates from that year that makes it 26 years old. Kind of looks like a 26 year old building. Hey, <laughs> oh man, did I get lost? Wow. I was just way off in the wilderness over there. Okay. Well, you made it. Yeah, yeah, well, I was here on time. I really was, but, and then there was a guy back there, a really friendly Malaysian guy. He stopped me, oh, and so, like a five minute chat. Right. So that put me five minutes uh, later. I couldn't really uh, just cut him off and no, go. I understand. No Jamie's problem. waiting, buddy, I gotta go. So I have uh, found Jamie. He was here waiting patiently. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's uh, the building from this side. It's probably not as impressive an angle, but a lot of these mu national museums and performing arts centers are, the building is a big part of the attraction. So I just want to get a shot of uh, what it looks like from over here. Oh, interesting. So we're inside the National Art Gallery now. A bit of an adventure coming in. They made us scan a QR code to register. And, uh, but when, the, when, they, when it looked like Jamie was doing it, the guard looked at me and says, oh, you don't need to. Just one person has to register as a visitor. And then we were all ready to come in. But then someone else kind of waved us over. And I wasn't sure what he was on about, but he took us into a smaller a hallway and he said, no, you can't bring in your knapsacks. So they had a um, locked locker there. He opened it and we put our knapsacks in. And you are allowed to have cameras, you're just not allowed to have tripods. So when I took out my GoPro, at first he says, oh, you can't bring that in because he thought my hand grip was a tripod. But of course I convinced him it's just a hand grip. So yeah, so you have to register with a QR code 
and you, ha you can't bring a knapsack in of any kind. You have to store it. And the main exhibit is called Nusa. So there's the name Nusa, which means motherland or homeland, and it is a collection that they've taken out of their permanent. So it's an exhibit they took from their permanent collection. So it would probably be a whole mixture of artists, different mediums, paintings, sculpture, I don't really know. The thing I like best about the art gallery is this uh, stairway. A, uh, you go up floor to floor on this uh, circular stairway. So it's like a ramp that just goes up and up and up. And spin around. And... So, yeah, you just go up and up and up and up and up like a corkscrew until you finally get all the way up there to the top. I just made myself dizzy by doing that. So, yeah. So I guess Jamie and I are gonna start here at the bottom and then start walking, get up to the next floor and uh, see what's on display today. I wasn't going to talk about this exhibit, but it's actually a little bit interesting because you can see it's scrolling off to the side and I thought it would loop in 30 seconds or something like that and show us the same 20 people every 30 seconds. But it turns out this video, if you want to call it a video, is four hours long. And yeah, video duration, four hours. And they have it scheduled throughout the day. So at nine o'clock in the morning, it starts with ocean life, sea surface, coastline, mangrove, and then throughout the entire day, a segment on Borneo, segment on India, and then a whole bunch of people. And right now at 1137, right now we're in the random portraits section, which will run until 1257. <laughs> so that's crazy. So these random portraits are just going to go on for a long, long time. Interesting. Jamie and I just finished a tour up on the, the second floor. So it's the first exhibit room that we've been into for the Noosa exhibit. And I didn't really have expectations for what this exhibit would be like. To be honest, my expectations were quite low because it's coming from the permanent collection and I thought it would... Anyway, I just didn't think it would be... It would be nice, but I didn't know if it would be that interesting. But I'm very impressed. I'm not uh, a deep-thinking artist of any kind, I, but um, yeah, I really enjoyed it a lot. So that is just a, a sampling, just a selection of all the uh, pieces of art that are in here. Quite interesting. 
on to the next, uh, next gallery room. It's now 12.30 and this, the portraits, the random portraits are still going by. There's just no end to them. Really kind of interesting. I wonder how many there are in total. It doesn't say, but the, the portraits are gonna keep going by for another 20 minutes or so before the uh, scrolling moves on to another subject. So there's another gallery over here, part of the uh, Noosa exhibit. This appears to be the other main exhibit connected with uh, Noosa, perhaps. And it's uh, quite a bit different than the other room, as you can see here, describes it a little bit. Noosa works on paper. And I guess these pieces are very sensitive to humidity, light, and temperature. So it's quite a bit cooler in here. But it says that there are 98 pieces of selected works, 78 watercolors. And so they are from uh, expeditions in Peninsular Malaya and Borneo. So the watercolors and sketches are by colonial British officers, such as uh, Frank Swettenham and uh, George Gilles. Yeah, they're really quite nice. A nice contrast from the other room. Much smaller, you know, less exotic, less glamorous pieces, but they're all really, really nice. A piece like here, just a charcoal sketch. And uh, it's interesting to see that they're all dated from 1884. So all of these pieces along this wall are all from uh, Frank Swettenham. And this one is, uh, yeah, in the Taiping Hills. Yeah, they're quite nice. I like to think about these guys drawing them pulling up a chair underneath these trees and then getting out their sketch pad. And of course, as I said, I have no artistic ability at all. So anyone that can just even draw something like this seems like a profoundly gifted person to me. It just seems like an incredible power to be able to draw. Yeah, as I said, there's a lot of small uh, pieces here inside the room. It's worth uh, taking some time and stopping here and there and taking a close look at a bunch of them. Frank Swettenham and then George Gilles uh, does a lot over on, uh, these, on this wall here. So they're all mainly from uh, the 1800s. A lot from uh, the Taiping Ipo area and then uh, from Borneo. I don't know if there are other exhibits connected with Noosa, the, the current from their permanent collection, but um, I'm gonna go out for a walk around the rest of the museum, see what else is here. 
So we've made our way up to the top floor, coming up the spiral stair stairway. It's not really a stairway. What do you call this? A ramp. Spiral ramp winds all the way up to the top. So here we are at the top of the building. Looks very modern on the inside. It actually looks like an older building to me on the outside, but this inside section looks very modern. Very nice. But I don't know what this is over here. I guess it's uh, an exhibit of some kind. I thought maybe there was a restaurant up here. <laughs> Interaxi Cine and Gastronomy. And I guess that would be the last, uh, the last exhibit. Yeah, very different atmosphere in this exhibit. It's, this is not part of Noosa. This is a different exhibit altogether. It's interesting to come in here. It's darker, more atmospheric. And apparently the theme of this exhibit, of course, has to do with gastronomy, food and cooking, and our relationship to food and cooking, I suppose. But yeah, looks, uh, looks fun. Oh yeah, there's a lot going on in here. I'm just gonna take a quick walk through here, get a little bit of video of all of the major displays, and then I'll slow down, go back over it again, take a closer look at everything. This looks interesting. As I said, I always like any art that is made out of uh, metal of any kind. Yeah, this exhibit is sort of a nice palette cleanser in a way. Just sort of fun. And this guy here. I don't know about you guys, but I don't take life too seriously. These bright colors. Chest x-rays. Repeat after me. I'm free to be whatever I want. I like this one, this is my favorite. Let's be honest, nobody cares how you feel. How did we get into this mess? <laughs> and over here in this room, it's quite interesting. It makes me hungry. I want to climb in there and have a bowl of noodles right now.
big surprise. Uh, we've come all the way down to the main floor and I noticed when we came in, there were two galleries, one on either side, and we walked by them to go up the spiral uh, ramp to go to the Noosa exhibit. I didn't know what was down here, but it turns out that this gallery anyway has got a lot in it. So there's a lot more art here than I was expecting. It might be more than my brain can absorb all in one visit. Feels like the things that I've seen so far is more than enough for one visit. But this is the, the display here in this gallery. And maybe I'll do a quick walk around this room. And uh, you can see, get a, get a sense of what's going on here. One more gallery to check out, and Jamie's already been through here, and he was just saying that these last two are the best exhibits at the museum right now, and uh, we should have <laughs> we should have come in here first, so we would have had uh, more energy. But uh, Enrique de Malaca Memorial Project. So I just read through the introduction to this uh, gallery and it is something I've never heard anything about. It's a story of a man named Enrique from Malacca and I guess Ferdinand Magellan had him on his ships and he was a slave on his ships. And then he was even mentioned in Ferdinand Magellan's will 
and he went with Magellan on his uh, journeys on his ship. And I'm assuming this is a meant to be an image of uh, Enrique. Enrique de Malacca. I think my time at the museum has come to an end. Uh, Jamie and I are going to hop back into the MRT system, and go for a uh, lunch. But I think uh, I'll end the video right here, standing beside one of my favorite exhibits. I, I can never resist a bicycle like this, of course. So yeah, I enjoyed this quite a bit. A uh, quick visit to the National Art Gallery of uh, Kuala Lumpur. Well worth visiting, I enjoyed that a lot really interesting exhibits uh, down here on the main floor and then the big Noosa exhibit up top. I enjoyed all of them. I could have used more time down here, but by the time Jamie and I went through all the exhibits on the upper floors, we didn't realize that these exhibits down here were as interesting as they were. We could have reserved more energy for here, but I went around all of them and uh, took a look at everything that's on display. Really interesting. I enjoyed that quite a bit. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I'll see you in the next video.